Well, let's try and record this once more, shall we? Welcome to Project Planet. Yes, that is the new name of the podcast hybrid thing that I'm doing right now, which uh, you guys might be interested to know that there's a video on YouTube as well as the podcast that you're listening to now. Or if you're doing it in the reverse, go uh, check out the link in the description for the podcast. Uh, anyway, I want to try to keep this short and simple and give you guys an update on what's been going on. And I wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to talk about mental health because you sh- your boy over here is freaking shit in the bed lately. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're listening to the podcast, you don't get to see the nice visual. Yeah, I'm just, that's clickbait. Don't listen to me. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update. I know there were a few people out there that were concerned on uh, on the social media things, Twitter being one. Uh, <clears throat> there's been some concern. I mean, we're, we're, what, almost two years into this goddamn pandemic, and it seems like it won't stop. <clears throat> and that's where these mental issues have arisen with me that uh, I'm starting to freaking go crazy, you guys. It seems like a lot of people have like just dipped out. They're just like, fuck this. I'm out. Um, you know, quite a few people have uh, passed away in my family and friends, close people that I knew, you know, from this pandemic. And it's really caused some serious strain on fear, you know, just the straight out fear of being, you know, of being killed by this virus. I mean, be honest, you guys out there, you know, it's, it's scary. And they keep saying one thing. That, that's one thing with the news. It's hard to keep track of what's fucking real and what's not. Uh, which is just fucking sad. People doing that shit. They're just doing it for the money. But anyway, I digress. Um, the mental health thing, okay. Uh, it's kind of a combination of things for me. And I'll update you guys on what's been going on. Because there has been some concern. <coughs> Yeah, we're doing we're, we're flying by the seat of our pants in the podcast here. It's just straight up edit, straight straight through. I'm not going to stop. Um, yeah, you guys you guys like that anyway. It makes it makes it interesting. Uh, so I don't like bringing this up, but this is this one thing I think a lot of people that know me. Um, I've dealt with a balance disorder since 2009. Uh, I, being proactive, I I never really got like an honest answer what was wrong. Um. There was a couple things they tried treating me for. I just said, screw it. I'm going into treatment or physical rehab to see if I can make my vestibular problem tolerable. Uh, it makes you miserable. It makes you tired. It makes you exhausted. Uh, it affects every part of your body. If you guys aren't familiar with it, think of your balance center, your inner ear. It basically controls everything. It's kind of like the hub of your senses. Your your vision is 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 stuck to it. Like, what do you do when you're spinning? Or or what do you do when you're dizzy? You close your eyes. Generally, that's like kind of an automatic reaction. So they're connected. And then any, and then any sense that you're getting, whether it's the wind you feel on your skin, the space that you are in, in this simulation we all live in. That's for another, another podcast. Uh, <laughs> but the simulation, you know, the simulation that we're in, our bodies are... Uh, you know, they have these senses that, you know, sight, smell, taste, touch. The The balance center is basically the middle of everything. So I always thought maybe there, you know, it might be just not just one thing. It could be a multitude of things. It could be something related to something. But over like 12 year period, do you think something like that could progress into something like this? Now, you got to be on YouTube to be seeing what I'm doing right now. But I'm holding my hand up and I have tremors. And weakness and pain when I left it above my head. Uh, we don't know if it's just nerve damage or whether the nerve damage is related to Parkinson's or MS or something along those lines. So I'm going to be tested on Monday, or at least you know, I got a referral to go back and get a second look from the neurologist to see what's going on. I don't want to make this vlog all about me, but the mental state of that and hearing that word. I mean, I've already been through hell. I've had heart surgery. I've had, you know, my gallbladder taken out, which was pretty damn uncomfortable. And just, yeah, you know, it's fun. You know, your warranties ran out. You're, yeah, it's like, you know, 
Uh, your warranty ran out. Your shit's gonna start breaking now, so keep your eye out for that. So, there's that. Um, I need to first off apologize for you know, kind of dumping on you guys. Um, lately my streams have been uh, unfortunately lacking. Uh, I'm usually pretty excited about you know something new comes out or an update comes out or we're doing something interesting that seems to be keeping me, keeping me interested and keeping me um uh, you know basically on the ball help help helping you guys you know get away from your day by watching what i'm doing and it, you know and being entertained by that content that's the job of every streamer i watch you know that's the entertainment value the content and i think that's always been my problem and i think it's due to lack I mean, obviously, lately, it's been due to lack of motivation. Um, it's not good. Lack of motivation due to physical strength, um, body aches, um, you know, the problem with the arm. Uh, my cardiovascular has gotten a lot worse just because I haven't been getting, getting out and getting exercise because of the pandemic. It's no excuse. But everybody just falls into their own ways, you know, and it's difficult. Um, I don't know what to say, but it, it, it is definitely one of those things that I wish I would have at least, you know, I've been doing VR, which is a pretty good workout. I'd be surprised. Um, trying to clean around the house, get things done. I usually always end up throwing my back out or something stupid, just getting old. Um, you know, and I got another friend who streams that, that is, you know, on the, on the level of, having the Monty Burns syndrome where everything is going wrong at Barnagley's. He's a local to me as well. Uh, a friend of mine and Chris is uh, Chris Perel. If you guys are familiar with Locker, no, I did some work with the, him and uh, Vlogger Fair if you go way back in the day. Uh, yeah, locals. And they, they've been going through the, you know, the same thing too as well. It's just mentally just really changed depressed lonely which is just it, it's just crazy and then you think about it i mean in my in my respect to um you know physical contact a hug a handshake uh you know just being in the vicinity of your friends doing something is missed but i, I kind of go back and i think about it and it really makes me even more depressed is that that really wasn't even the case before the pandemic. A lot of my friends had just gone on to do their own thing or deal with their own families and their in their in their lives. And I don't have too many close friends other than my wife. And it's it's kind of weird. While well, you end up spending a lot of extra time talking to your dentist or you know just a random person in line at the grocery store or whatever just looking for some kind of mental connection with someone and that energy level. I'm just, I feel like I'm just slowly dying. Um, and then we need to change that. And that's why I created this project planet. Um, I think we should talk about that, see what people can offer and what they've learned that helps them, whether it be, you know, the easy way out is just take meds. <laughs> Everybody knows. Okay. Get on your antidepressant. Let's go fuck up that shit some more. That's the that's the answer to everything, right? All right. I've found even on being on you know the mental side of things, which is the whole point of this video vlog or video on YouTube and podcast on whatever platform you're listening to, uh, is to see what people's input is. I, I would love to see some comments and some responses to to this. It's a, uh, it's a difficult thing to talk about, and it is kind of embarrassing. Um, but then I've tried to, I tried to figure out, you know, what's what's the point of that? And I just kind of like got over it. But uh, you know, I've always been honest in my vlogs. I've never sugarcoated or, you know, put up a clickbait video uh, to make me feel better. Uh, that's one thing that I think I probably should have done over the years is fucking cheat like everyone else does that was successful or got lucky or worked the algorithms uh, to their advantage. 
you know, it's, um, that's another story too. Uh, yeah, it makes me, it makes me feel like, you know, maybe I, I could have done something a little bit different and obviously things have changed over the years. I could understand that. Um, as a content creator, it makes me feel like, uh, you know, uh, I was a failure. Uh, I mean, I, the only thing that, um, I see was what really came out of doing all this or doing the YouTube for many, many years. Um, and thousands of videos is, um, all the friends I made, um, uh, wasn't really about, you know, the money It would have been nice if that would have become a thing, you know, where it could have, it could have become a job. Maybe it still can. And, uh, and at this point it's more important than anything that that happened. Um, I've tried just about everything and I'm trying to figure out why, and maybe I need a therapist for this, but they'll probably just lie to me, but what is it about me and i try to think to myself as far as other people that you talk to that kind of either rub you the wrong way or annoy you or or you just really like you know you like to be around that person a lot and i'm trying to figure out what it is about myself that is you know mentally the problem where, where is that problem is always like you know is it me 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 you know and i try really really hard to not make it about me um you know it could be just selfish and you know who's gonna eat the last tater tot off the plate you know or do you want that kind of i mean being simplistic you know just being friendly and kind and not being that person i really try to be that person that isn't like you know they're talking about something and then you bring up some comparison in your life and try to make yourself better or whatever. It seems like that's just one of those things that I've really had. I think rums, it really does rub people the wrong way. You know, whether it be, you know, the some success that I had on YouTube at one point and people were jealous of it and treated me like shit and trolled me and then eventually destroyed our channel and, and our lives um, financially because of, um, you know, just because someone didn't like us. Um, and obviously they were mentally unstable too as well. Um, this has happened more than once. And it seems like we tend to attract a lot of people like this in our lives. Um, and I feel sorry for, you know, the, the condition that the, either they have or the way that I feel about them, you know, or the, that group. Um, and that takes a lot of, you know, work getting over that, you know, having a little bit of respect from some people, you know, like, you know, it's a lot of work. They know you put a lot of time into something and they just shit on it or they're impressed with it or, or they're, they're just coy about it and say, Oh yeah, that's great. Good, good job. Yeah. It's not the greatest thing I've ever seen, you know, be honest. It's, um, it's really come down to it. So that was the one thing I mean, with all this stuff, again, if you're watching the video, the YouTube video, uh, it's not about the things it's about the, it's about the content. And that's the one thing that I am still working on. That is very hard. Um, and all these things that are, are, have been slowing me down and preventing me from doing this really put me in this mental state. And yeah, that's for a lot of people. And I'm probably just repeating myself, but yeah, that's going to be the goal on here, I think, for a while. On the next few vlogs, is how to how to how to get out of this pit of you know self loathing, just you know trying to get some energy going up. And I think the most important thing is is going to be it's going to be exercise, get the blood flowing, starting to feel a little bit better. In my case, it's on top of that. It's um, it is. I'm mean, trying to word this right. It's going to be physical fitness, obviously, but, um, mental fitness too, as well. My issue is obviously I have the balance thing that's stopping me and slowing me down. I have the body parts that are just basically starting to break. So we're going to work on those things that are going to try and help others. And as well as me, um, you know, for those people out there that are jobless or in the same position that I am in where 
have you tried this? Have you tried to stretch? I mean, I've, I've had some simple things told to me that I were really impressed by, wow, that really worked. Or, you know, at least helped me out mentally, you know, to feel better about that. But motivation is the number one thing, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, motivation is the number one thing. I have zero right now. Well, I have enough to make this podcast, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think it's important, obviously, is the energy level just needs to be there. It's in the motivation level needs to be there. I haven't got it. I can only attribute a couple of things to this is that I get up, I do my thing. I get my blood flowing. I sit down, I do my, do my stream or whatever project I might be working on to get that done. Um, bring bring you guys some content but it's not there's no motivation there when there's zero interaction and you know time spent equals you know a lot of people i see i've got a couple of friends that are social media influencers that you know say say this stuff um you know about there you just left a channel here didn't you you just like okay he's trying to go somewhere with this but he can't quite get it out <laughs> jesus so some influencers i know they, they talk about this stuff um and it really is it just it's when they say you give it you, you know you get what you put in and that just does not seem to be the case for me i i don't know what it is for me I would love to help other people. I say to people, I'm like, hey, I'll go into, because it is important. I, the one, foremost thing in my mind is streaming and, and what. I help other streamers. I go in there and I see their channel and going, oh, hey, um, yeah, your voice is a little low and your music stuff is a little bit high. I just thought I'd let you know. That's helpful, you know, to anybody. Or, hey, dumbass, you're on the wrong screen, you know, and they're streaming their, their game and they're, they're all excited about something that just happened and they're not even on the right scene. They're not even streaming the game. I mean, just things like that alone, you know, to have one person come in and say hello to me and talk to me for at least a little bit on my streams is motivation. When it's zero and you're not doing that, you know, what do you do? Building up and working every day to get your get your get your stream out there which is very hard to do these days and it's it's like a really hugely competitive field of people honestly a lot of them just freaking beating this system you know fake it until you make it is what i say but uh anyway the mental health thing i think is going to be the number one thing for me um i need to get my mental health straight back if you guys have any any suggestions leave them in the comments on the on the YouTube video or just hit me up anywhere uh, just take that big, big old deep breath you guys and um, until next time when we do this again and I'm hoping to have a special guest in the near distant future to talk about this more um, I think a lot of people out there that say that they are mentally stable you know aren't always the they've got their own little special bit of crazy I know I do um, and it makes all of us moody and angry and it makes the world just a sad fucking place so what I say is to you guys just smile come to my stream and hang out with me please <laughs> help me feel like you know I'm, I'm doing something you know to grow and the more that I grow you know I guess I should rephrase that. Come to, come to my stream, hang out with me, talk to me. You know, help this community, just not me, this 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 idea that I have Project Planet to grow and give the ability to help more people and connect more people. That's the whole thing that I've won. You know my what my number one thing was when I first started streaming on YouTube was finding more people like me that were dealing with this balance disorder that wouldn't explain itself. 
and the support that came out of that is like you know it's a scary thing for someone who first experiences it and you're dizzy for no reason you don't you think there's something seriously fucking wrong with you and you're gonna die until they explain it to you that there's just a little you have a little sensor in your brain that is getting a false signal why well, it could be a couple of things but they they help you and it's the same thing here guys when it comes to your mental state just think of all the people we could help i mean it would be i would love there's some people that i was like you know they're streaming or whatever and i watch and i try to look at some of these people and, and make a connection to them and there are like zero viewers one viewer or whatever and they're like <sighs> you don't know how many times i've heard people sigh and click off and their stream ends and they're just pissed they're generally just people that don't have the patience to continue to keep doing it but i want to build this thing where the, this feeling of you know this 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 massive feeling of energy and respect for that person and start sharing that i, I don't know if that makes sense but that was kind of the whole purposes that i wanted to tell you my story I wanted to tell you where I was going with this. I want to see if we can't build something that would not only help me get through my tough time, you know, and if it is, I think it has a lot to do with a lot of people just being able to talk, um, interacting, having some time with someone, you know, some personal time with someone just to talk, um, you know, and it, and it makes you happy. Like I, I had a discussion <clears throat> with a viewer on discord for a while and just just randomly just talking about bullshit and my my attitude you know whether it just be we talk about something funny really gross some just something you know naked titties i don't whatever you know just depending on the group who you're talking to but whatever it is whether you guys are being just a little off the deep end sending out crazy memes and stuff having fun every day hanging out with your friends um and you know mentally kind of just mentally shaping them you know to make them happier and a little less uh, you know a little just a little bit less more depressed um and I, I would say for myself i'm just out there screaming every day for some kind of attention some kind of just conversation with that person to hang out and it's difficult um some people you just don't match with it you don't have the same interests it's a big world out there and the internet's even bigger anyway let's hope that we can uh make something out of this i it's, i think it's a good idea uh it's the number one thing that i need to work on in my life and i've got i've got some physical ailments too as, as well that are mentally making me a bit fucking screwy too as well so Anyway, if you made it to the end of this, uh, I really appreciate your time. And that is the number one thing that I want from you guys. Feel free to drop by the streams. I'm trying to get back on a regular schedule. A lot going on. I've got some dental work things going on. I'm trying to do a lot to make myself healthy. Uh, doctor visits, things like that. So over the next uh, week or so, I'm probably going to be... Um, uh, we'll try to fit a... You know, maybe after my appointment and find out what's going on, we'll, um, we'll have more to talk about. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Remember to love the one you're with and uh, stay, uh, stay safe out there, you guys. All right. Thanks for listening. See you, see you in the next one.